Hello, we are ready now to dive into partnerships in terms of the legal framework around them. And here is the definition of a partnership. Actually, the word partnership itself already is a legal form of a business operation between two or more individuals who share the management and the profits. So here is exactly the point where we are actually connecting back to the stop team, where you have formed your teams with individuals that you partner with. So the legal framework around a team of several people that work together as a team would be a partnership. And there's different types of uh, partnerships, legal ways of partnerships. And the most common ones are the general and the limited partnership. And let's see what that means. So if your business is owned and operated by several people at the same time, as I just started to, to say, we have the possibility of a legal structure called a general partnership or a limited partnership. What does that mean? A general partnership is if the partners both or all have access to the management of the company, and they also have the responsibility, of course, on the other side for the partnership's debt and obligations, which means you own part of the company and you, of course, are responsible for all the debts and obligations that the company assumes. So all of the partners are equally responsible for everything regarding that company, that organization. A limited partnership is a partnership where some of the partners are fully responsible for everything regarding the organization and some partners are not. So the general partners, they own and operate the business as we just explained it. And the limited ones, they have a limited responsibility. So that could be, for example, an investor or even one of uh, your team members, they will not have any control over the company and they are not subject to the liabilities as the general partners, only up to a certain um, budget, for example, or the investment they brought into the company. So you can see now that when you own an organization, you have a shared ownership of an organization. How will the profits and also the, the debts, of course, be shared within the partners? How do you account for the different input um, that people are bringing? Is there money involved that you bring into the company? Um, is it your work that you bring in? How does that reflect into the decision-making among the partners? What happens if one partner is suddenly out of the equation? How much was that part, that partner um, owned worth? Do you have to pay that partner um, when he or she is leaving the, the organization? How much? So you see, there's a lot of really, really crucial questions that come with these legal forms of partnerships, with that legal identity an organization acquires and the people that are co-founders in, in, in this organization. And yes, these are really difficult questions, especially when the organization is not making um, money, is not receiving an income yet. You're talking about something that is not there yet. At the same time, you need to make agreements about that. It is really crucial that you answer those questions before you get into full operation 
because the longer you wait, the more difficult it will be to answer those questions. And yes, there's no real um, right or wrong here. There are so many different varieties of how these questions could be answered um, that there is no standard pattern or template that you can use um, to yeah, have like a turnkey solution here. This is the crucial uh, chapter that you have to open when you work together as a team, as several partners that create a product or service. Thank you for listening to this really serious topic. Um, I hope it could give you an insight of how complex and how sensitive at the same time uh, these questions are. At the same time, also how essential these questions are for you to be able to move forward as a team. Here comes my call to action. Please take a pen and paper and write down the questions that you have in mind right now so that you can discuss them with your team and that you can make sure that at the end of this stop, you have some orientation of how you would like to um, handle those questions at hand. See you on the other side.